Greetings, fellow Gorehounds, and welcome back to a Blood Splattered vlog. I'm the Horror Guru. And I'm Count Dracula. And today we're going to talk about Dash Cam, which is a found footage by way of live stream movie that came out way earlier this year that it took us a while to watch because, to be honest, I heard such mixed things about it. I wasn't sure if I wanted to take the risk. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Like, we were worried that the movie was going to be bad. Yeah, You know, yeah. like, just unwatchable and, like, why are we telling people about a shitty movie? Exactly. You know? Now, here's the thing. I love this movie, but I'm going to put a bunch of caveats onto this movie because even though this movie follows the tradition of Spree and Deadstream by having a complete and total awful narcissist as its main character, I have noticed that for a lot of people, this particular character's like form of shittiness is a lot harder to watch yeah, than the other she two. She is straight up a red hat wearing MAGA supporter. Yes, like an anti-vaxxer, red hat wearing MAGA supporter, thinks the COVID lockdown is a complete scam, and the whole movie takes place during lockdown, so she's bringing this up like the entire, entire movie. movie. Yeah. Um, she's constantly making cracks at like when there's a black character on screen, oh, Black Lives Matter, right? And like yeah, things like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like it's cringy and sometimes it's legit funny, but after a while you do find yourself going like, man, I hope this character gets their comeuppance. And unfortunately, without spoiling the ending of this movie, this character doesn't quite get the comeuppance that the other two characters in the other two movies yeah, that we yeah, they talked don't... about do. And that might be a deal breaker for some of you, which is the only reason why I'm bringing it up. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like that's that that could be an issue. But if you can stomach this character, and if she is funny and entertaining to you, because she is legitimately funny at times. Yeah. You will find that by the end of this movie, it will turn into a truly crazy monster movie. Yeah. They don't even particularly straight up tell you what the monster no. is. You, you pretty sure it's some kind of like I, I something? I, I went through many phases throughout this movie where I was just like, are they turning into a zombie? Yeah. Is it a zombie? Is are, it a vampire? Is are they it possessed? possessed? And yeah. by the end of it, you don't really know, but you know whatever it is, it's fucking crazy and terrifying. Yeah. It turns into like a straight up Silent Hill creature by the end of this. Mm -hmm. It starts yeah. off in one form and ends the movie in a gigantic form. It's yeah, it's weird. And and I gotta be I gotta be honest, I think that's where the movie kind of fucking that's where it like slipped on the banana peel mm -hmm. because it's a fine line between showing too much of the mm -hmm. of your shitty monster and not enough yeah and i felt like it didn't show enough okay that's fair you that's know, fair i was like, actually surprised at how much they showed to yeah be yeah like it's one of those like you can you feel like you need a little I, bit I more i feel i need a little bit more because let me put it this way as ridiculous looking as that Ratma monster was from yeah. the last, the previous VHS movie. Yeah. I was glad I got to look at it. <laughs> yeah, well, you got to look at this thing too. Like, like about as much as Ratma, really. Like, well, you didn't, mm, I didn't get as much of the details on it. At least I didn't. Oh, I, I, oh. I did. I remember oh. distinctly what it looked like. Oh, okay. By the end of it, especially at the end when you're like seeing its face like right on the screen. Oh, geez. I don't know how, I must have missed it then. Oh. I don't know what's going on. Well, fair enough. Like, feel free to chime in below yeah. and let us know if, if you agree with Jack and that you, you wanted more monster or if you felt like you got enough of it or whatever. Honestly, I could have used more monster. That's fine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I definitely got a good look at him. Yeah, like my feeling, this, this movie does have one problem with the that's been a historic yeah. potential issue with the found footage films unlike deadstream which did not have this problem yeah. at all this movie has that problem where sometimes you're like what am i looking at you know like what yeah. am i seeing i would agree with that 100 percent like i was gonna mention that, that this movie has a lot more moments where the the camera is just rustling around in circles yeah yeah and you're not seeing anything and they transition into every new scene that way. Yeah. So there's always a point where you just have no idea what's happening, especially during the mid section of the movie when they're running from more than just the monster. Yeah. And you're not sure at any given moment who or what they're running from because it's so fucking like 
there's also additional confusion because during the movie, the camera changes owners several times. Yeah, and there's two cameras. That's another yeah. aspect of it. Um, yeah. There's the actual dash cam, which is weird because it is a dash cam, but she attaches it to her hat for most of the movie. So it feels weird to call this dash cam, even though it is a dash cam. Yeah. Because it's technically attached to her hat, not attached to the car. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> maybe GoPro just wasn't yeah. going to fucking work. Like, because well. it's, it's, it, she uses it like a GoPro, to be real. Yeah. Um, and the other camera is literally her phone camera when she's like like pointing it at someone. So sometimes you'll get two angles. Yeah, right. yeah. I thought, I, yeah, when you call, because when you call it dash cam, I, I thought it was going to be, okay, we're always going to be looking out the front of the vehicle. I thought it know? was going to be a lot more like Spree where it's almost entirely in a car. Yeah, yeah, you know? exactly. And it's not. And uh, it's a good thing it's not because some of the stuff it does is really wild towards the end. And it would have been really dull to not be able to do that. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You would have to have been like, well, let me put it this way. You could have pulled it off, but you would have had to have been really good. Yeah, yeah. There's a point in this movie where they're like running through like a fun house. And yes. like, I feel like if you had just been stuck in the car, like you would have lost that. Because they they do attach it to like her hat or it's her phone camera or whatever. It means that anytime she takes off the hat or puts the phone on her side or whatever and starts running, we're just hearing jiggling yeah, exactly. and watching the camera shake and that's it. And it gets a little irritating about the fifth time they've done that. Yeah, yeah. But for the most part, anytime the thing is on screen yeah. and but we'll explain what the thing is because they don't actually tell you what it is. It, it's kind of like Cloverfield in that it feels like they're like running from money shot to money shot. And mm -hmm. you have these transitionary periods where it's just the camera shaking like crazy. Yeah, yeah. That <laughs> <laughs> That's the movie I was trying to bring to mind. Yeah, yeah. Cloverfield, or that, that that thing that Cloverfield did. Yeah. Here's the thing. I feel a little bit bad because I would probably be saying a lot more positive things about this movie had I not also just seen Dead Stream and Spree. Which, to be fair, those are better movies. Oh, yeah, yeah. Those yeah. are overall better movies. The main characters in those movies uh, are a lot more tolerable for for a variety of reasons. Yeah. Even though they're all narcissists. Oh, yeah. This actress is good and funny. Yes. But it's hard to tell sometimes if it's supposed to be at her expense or if I'm supposed to laugh at that shitty MAGA joke. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 not as it's not quite as clear. It's relatively clear. There's a little bit more of a subtle wink to the camera that the other yeah. the other movies have it's that much this more, character doesn't. It's much more clear anytime her friend stretches in the same scene with her. When it's just her alone interacting with other people. It's hard yeah. to tell, but when Stretch is next to her, Stretch becomes like the voice of the audience. Like, yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, exactly. And you start to go like, oh, okay, all right, the movie's. Ultimately... By the way, Stretch is another character in the movie. Yeah, yeah, the character. She the has she has a friend named Stretch who she goes to visit in England, and this whole movie takes place in England. By the way, yeah, the movie is not pro MAGA anti vaccine. I'll tell you that. No, I did not get that impression that the movie was. Yeah. Oh man, maybe we should actually talk about the plot. Okay. All right. So with uh, b without getting into any spoiler elements, the basic plot is that after pissing off her friend Stretch in England, she steals his car and ends up trying to get like a delivery, like, like a, yeah, like she a food tries delivery. To, he's like a food delivery guy. Yeah. So she's trying to like jack one of his deliveries so that she can eat it. Yeah. She's a piece of shit. She's that kind of piece of shit. And she ends up going to this restaurant that's closed. But then this person in this restaurant notices that she has the car and is like, hey, can you help transport this lady I have who looks all sick and whatever? And I need you to transport her to this location. And basically the whole movie is her getting this lady into the car, trying to deliver it to that location and the lady progressively turning more into a monster. Yeah. There's a point where they abandon the whole, like, let's take the lady anywhere, but the lady does not abandon them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She just decides, nope, you're the ones I'm fucking with. Yeah. And that's the basic plot of this movie. It's really weird and convoluted because it doesn't actually like answer why they're taking this lady anywhere? Who, yeah, are, who yeah. are these people that had her and what she even is by the end of it? Yeah, you you really have to piece it together yourself. <laughs> yeah. You know, which is which can be a, either a strength or a, a hindrance. It's, it's weird because with some movies, like what really works is, is is when you can tell the filmmakers know what's going on, but you don't. I couldn't really tell with this movie if the filmmakers knew exactly what's going on or if they were leaving it I know, vague I so know they didn't what have you to mean. answer. I know what you mean. I know <laughs> what you mean. Yeah, because there are some points where you're like, I 
do you, look, man, if you don't tell us what the thing is, then it's yeah. got to be something that we recognize. Yeah. Or that we can recognize. And, and maybe, maybe the thing it turns into at the very end is like a creepypasta I'm not aware of, which is possible. I don't know. Uh, it's possible, but it's not as, that's not as good as like vampire, demon, yeah, yeah. werewolf. Exactly. You know? One of the reasons uh, Afflicted works so well oh, yeah. is that even though they never fucking say the word, you're like, that guy's a vampire. Oh yeah. <laughs> And you're watching them, watching him like figure it out as it goes on, yeah. too, and it's very clear. In this movie, it's very obvious they want you to think it's one thing as it's going on. Like, very beginning, you're like, oh, is she like a zombie a out? zombie? Thing? Yeah. She's like acting kind of like a zombie. And then later on, it's like, oh, is she like a vampire? And then later on, you're like, oh, like, is she possessed? Because she's now doing like yeah. magic powers and shit. And then by the end of the movie, you're like, I have no idea what the fuck that thing is. All I know is that it's horrifying. Yeah. And it's legitimately horrifying. So I got to give them credit for that. That thing fucking freaked me out. I got the feeling that the uh, the the movie itself, uh, yeah. the plot the writer, knew what everyone's motivation was. Mm -hmm. That was clear. Oh yeah, um, what the actual character motivation was. Yeah, what the yeah. actual character motivation was was actually quite clear and that was actually kind of impressive considering all the stuff that has to deal with the other woman that they run into. Yeah. That's a that's a big spoiler section thing. So like yeah, we'll talk about that in the spoiler section because there actually is like little Yeah, yeah, things. yeah. There are a lot of reveals in this one. Little some turns, you know. Dash cam turns. Dash cam turns. <laughs> <laughs> I really liked her raps. <laughs> they were so bad. Oh, but oh, I, I couldn't get past how awful they were, but I knew they were awful on purpose. Like, I, like every time she started rapping, I would just start laughing my ass off. Oh, now, granted, sometimes she would throw in some like MAGA shit into that rap, but most of the raps are just like cock, cock and shit jokes and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like she, part of the characters, like backstory is that she was like a really shitty rapper yeah. in the early 2000s. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and oh yeah. boy, she was and, bad. And, and, and you you understand from her behavior why she and her friend Stretch are no longer in a band together. Yes, and are like at fr friends at an arm's length at this point, or an ocean's length, considering he considering moved back to England. Considering that he moved to England, <laughs> yeah. yeah. One of the scenes that I most related to, yeah, was uh, early on in the movie. They come back to Stretch's house, the friend's house that she's yeah. visiting, and. The first reaction is, opens the door, there's Stretch's girlfriend going, what is that bitch doing back in my fucking house? <laughs> Which I was totally with her when that oh, happened. Oh no, completely. Especially after what had just happened. Like like what the, everything she had done right before that, you're like, no, no, fucking kick her out no, or whatever. get this bitch out of here. And then like, the fact that she steals his car immediately after that, like this, it's inexcusable. No, you know, yeah, this? exactly. You're just sort of like, what kind of fucking psychotic bitch? Yeah does this and then steals their friend's car as retaliation. Yeah, and, and that's ultimately like the big asterisk against this movie. You're basically entering this movie where your main character is the crazy Karens you saw in all those pandemic yes. videos. Yeah, yeah, it's a good way of putting the it. The ones flipping out in like grocery stores having to put on their masks and shit. And the ones like trying to like call the police on black people. This is that lady. Yeah, this is her. This she is, is her. She is that lady and she's an awful rapper. And your mileage may vary on your ability to tolerate her. <laughs> yes, because it, it y your tolerance will be tested. Now, you can tell from events in the movie that she's supposed to be a piece of shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. The movie does not sympathize with her. Yeah, but that doesn't mean you're still going to be able to handle it necessarily, <laughs> depending upon how much of that might, like, get on your nerves too much. And trust me, I have many friends that sat through the other two movies and then sat through this one and couldn't finish it, so. Yeah, I'll hand it to the actress who played the main character. Holy shit, she committed to that role. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. She committed to just being a complete fucking mm -hmm. piece of shit. Yeah. Um, you know, damn. I, 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 I do I, cut. Oh. She committed so hard, I hope it was an act. Yes. There was a point where I'm like, Please tell me this is an act. I know yeah. it has to be, but like, I need reassurance. <laughs> I need reassurance. I need reassurance. 100%. So, lead actress, if you were fucking, if that was a complete act, congratulations. All the caveats aside, the movie is legitimately funny in moments. 
Oh, yeah. Uh, it's creepy and scary as fuck, especially when you start getting into the second half and the monster really goes ape shit. And it's got many tense, like, thriller-like moments when you're dealing with all the human elements that go on in this movie. Yeah. More towards the middle portion of the movie before the monster really goes ape shit and, like, the primary antagonists are humans. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Dash, Dash Cam is on Hulu. It's on Hulu. Uh, so go and watch Dash Cam on there and uh, enjoy or not enjoy. And uh, feel free to yell at us in the comments if it is too much for you. Feel, feel free. Hey, we, I, I will completely understand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because like five minutes in, I'm like, I am either going to love this performance <laughs> or I'm going to want to strangle this character way uh, and too I, much. And I, and I kind of came away wanting to strangle the character, but loving the performance. Yes. Yeah. You that's know? where I sat. too. <laughs> and uh, with that said, let us move on to the spoilers. Okay, so they never actually tell you what the creature is. No, but what she ends up turning into is like this giant slug thing with this yeah. like weird fucking like distorted white, like it kind of reminded me of like, remember Alien Resurrection, the human yeah. alien yeah. and that yeah. weird fucking flesh it face. It did look a lot like that, yeah. Like it had a face kind of like that, but with like this giant slug body and all these little arms on it. Yeah. It's like, really creepy. It's super nightmare fuel shit. Yeah, yeah. And you, you by process of elimination, you kind of come to the conclusion that it's a demon. Yeah, of some kind. Yeah, yeah. Some like some demon. Some kind of demon or... Someone put an eldritch creature inside of her or something. Yeah, yeah. And you can piece together, if you're really paying attention you can piece together what's going on which is there are actually three factions in this story mm -hmm. that you can see one is the main characters which is the dumbass main character we don't know what the fuck is going yeah. on faction and then you have the we absolutely know what's fucking going on and how to deal with it faction mm -hmm. and then you have the but it's my daughter faction that it's yeah. happening to. There, there's a point in this movie in which a shotgun wielding woman starts chasing them throughout the woods. Cause there's a point where they just end up in the woods. Yeah. And uh, the shotgun chasing woman, you're not sure who the fuck she is or what's going on with that until they reach a point where you find out that she's the mother of the old lady because the old lady is actually a 16 year old girl. Yeah. But for some reason, whatever is happening causes her to age. Yeah. And the way like like we get this information reveals because like the picture of her kid has an Ariana Grande tattoo and so does the old, the old lady. lady. Yeah, she's like, why does an Which, eighty year old woman have an Ariana Grande? Tattoo? Yeah, it's a weird thing for an old lady to have, you know. Yeah, and uh, that's about the extent of what you learn from that. So you can assume whatever possessed the daughter uh, made her old. Yeah. yeah. The thing that consistently like confused me was I found myself going, when you got a, we're not actually gonna use the word, mm -hmm. uh, it helps to have something that has rules that everyone assumes are gonna be there. Mm -hmm. You know, like for the vampire, it's like birds in sunlight, mm -hmm. drinks blood, has yeah. fangs, you know, werewolf, it's full moon, yeah. turns into big wolf monster, you know? Uh, the problem with this is that you find yourself going, all right, demon possession is the most logical. Yeah. But how does that make the possessed body age? Yeah. So you're like... Yeah, it, it, it's very weird because there's there's a bunch of weird elements that I feel like were just put there because they're weird. Right? Yes, yes. I'm not sure if it was yes. actually really well thought out where it's just like, okay, so whatever did this to her made her old. All right. Uh, so we've stapled her mouth shut. Not because she bites people, because that's how the, she goes inside out and turns into the yeah yeah she turns into the big monster at the end. Uh, but before she does that, she does want to bite people for whatever reason, and she can float and apparently yeah, has yeah, psychic yeah. powers. She has like she has like levitation power and, and and TK powers, which I it remains to be seen if she had those powers when she turns into the full on monster. So I don't know. She floats, she, mouth staples shut, bites people, kind of acts like a zombie until. She seems to have more of a coherence later. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was odd because, like, for the most part, it's like, okay, she can't just be a zombie. Because yeah. Zombies don't tend to have magic powers. Yeah. You know, so you, so start, you start leaning on possession. Yeah, possession, or... vampire, yeah. you know, something like that. And I, I think I would have liked, like, some sort of definitive 
telling of what the creature yeah. was. Like, if this is a creature from actual, like, mythology, it would have been good to have mentioned it once. Which it may be. Yeah, or it might be. Or it could just be a monster know? they just made up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. which it, at that point, you definitely need to tell the audience yeah. what's going on because you just made that shit up. Mm. Like, Cloverfield, at the end of the day, was still basically just a giant monster stepping on a city. Yeah, yeah. You True. know? So anything you added on top of that, as long as it fit within something that could happen with a giant monster that steps on a city, you weren't going to question it. Yeah, fair. Yeah. Um, this left me with a few questions because I'm like, all right, if it's a possession, why does it make her old? Is that yeah. a thing? Unless it's like a reference to an actual creature that I'm just not aware of. Like I said before, yeah, exactly. I'm convinced that they just made a bunch of shit up and were vague so they didn't have to answer why. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That definitely felt like the case. And I think most of the stuff they made up was purposely to try to mislead you as to what it is until you get to the end. Yeah, it's not as, in that way, it's not as bad as the movie Evidence, which is probably, in my opinion, the worst example the of that. worst example. Where you're just making shit up as it went along. Yeah, yeah, because you're finding yourself going like, look, I could tell the special effects team is like fucking top notch oh, yeah. and had a the fucking The special ball. effects and evidence, top notch. The plot and evidence, Convoluted and Bullshit. crazy, and Yo, yeah, God, that fucking plot and evidence is complete <clears throat> horseshit. You could tell it was just like, and then, and then, and then, and, 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 and then. then, yeah, because <laughs> you're like, okay, so it's aliens, yeah, okay, so how does that all fit together? You got to tell us, movie, yeah. because before it was like monster in the woods. Yeah. Are you gonna? <laughs> is are we talking? Are, the, are these close encounters aliens? Is it? Watcher in the wood aliens, yeah. like what it, no, no, whatever. Oh, it, someone's head just explodes here. And I could tell with this movie, there was some un, and then happening. Oh yeah, there, there's um, definitely some But it's and saved then by a lot of those scenes being really effective. Yes. You know, it's yes. saved by the scenes being effective, even if they are strung together by these really incomprehensible running scenes where the camera's fucking, yeah. the characters are tripping and the camera's hitting the ground because they gotta hide a cut and yada yada yada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, <laughs> there's, there's, there's more than a few of those. Once the monster really started kicking in about halfway through and they end up in the woods, that point all the way through the funhouse ride until the giant monster starts rampaging over the cars, that stuff was fun as shit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that, that it definitely has better than evidence. And the fucking scene in the car before the monster turns into a full on monster and like the car is drowning. That scene's great. Yeah. <laughs> so any more thoughts you uh, have for dash cam? Like I liked, I liked dash cam. It's I did. A good solid entry into this kind of like new version of yeah. found footage movie where it's like live streaming. Yep. Uh, found footage movies, I thought the acting was pretty good. Yeah. Like I never questioned the performances. That would that's important. Yeah, yeah. Good solid flick, although at the end of the day I would say it's not as good as either Deadstream yeah. or Spree. Spree. Yeah, Thank Spree. You. Yeah, <laughs> Spree or Spree. You know, I think those movies are still a little bit I better. I think they're than a lot this. better and I would have liked um, and this is a personal thing, given how shitty, because she was like, the other oh two yeah, I really wanted that character to just die. Yeah, the other two characters in those other two movies are shitty, awful people. But in this movie, you get more examples of a character being directly shitty to someone's face. Yeah. So you really want her to get a comeuppance at the end? Yeah, and it doesn't really happen. No, it doesn't really happen, even though that would mean they wouldn't have that really awesome, like, Wrapping credit sequence. No, you could have justified that. You could have justified that because the wrapping credit sequence is just technically breaking the fourth wall to begin with. You, yeah, exactly. You could have just exactly. you could just had her back in the car wrapping the credits and Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she could have just been dead. You, you know? know, but I would have liked her getting like eaten by the monster at the end oh, as opposed fuck, to yeah. triumphing because to me she was not a hero and trying to paint her as a hero like left a bad taste in my it mouth. It did, you know? it did. I absolutely agree. Um with that. even though the rest of the movie is really funny and creepy and scary at times. Just that last bit of her smashing the monster. And I'm like, that would be cool if I liked the character more. So Deadstream had a similar moment where like he triumphs over the witch lady or the ghost lady. The ghost, yeah. And then all of a sudden, like, there's another thing. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. That happens. Yeah. And I was hoping that that was going to happen to her. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. like in Deadstream, it, it worked perfectly. Yeah. In this one, it's sort of like, we needed a fucking drag me to hell moment. Yeah. You know, like yeah. that we need. And that. her just coughing at the end, like she caught COVID or something is not enough. No, <laughs> no. Where can they find you, Count Dracula? No, you can find me on Twitter <laughs> uh, at Counting Jack on Twitch at Count underscore Jackula. You can also follow me on Instagram at Satanic Jackula. 
Now, what about you? Y'all know me, I'm The Horror Guru. You can find me at The Horror Guru on Twitter, on Twitch, on Instagram, and Facebook. Just look up The Horror Guru or Blood Splattered Cinema and I'll be there. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that notification bell so that you're notified of my videos immediately upon their upload. And if you would like to help out either of us more directly, be sure to check out our Patreon pages. And remember, a dollar a month can go a long way. And with that said, my fellow Gorehounds, be sure to comment below. Yeah, I don't think you were getting away without commenting below. And when you comment below, use the hashtag shitass. Use that hashtag because this character in the movie was a complete shitass. Work it into your comment below. I'm sorry, I'm tired. <laughs> we got one more vlog to record after this. I'm starting a little punchy. <laughs> and uh, that way Jack knows, that way I know, that way the whole world knows you watch this vlog all the way through. Peace out and I'll catch y'all later.